go ahead and log in here. Just copy my email and then my password. So right off the bat, this is what it looks like. And let me just explain how this works. So your username when you sign up is uh, going to be right here. And they have the quick switch feature just like uh, Yabbly does. So if you have multiple eBay accounts, uh, you'll have to have multiple Arbyship accounts. And then you can just quick switch between them. Uh, it's nice and easy and keeps all the accounts separate. Makes it really... Uh, really easy to, you know, see what's going on with which account, you know, and stuff. Um, but it'll ask for your name. I'll show you right here again on the sign up. When it asks for your name, that's what it's going to show right here. Your first and last name doesn't change very often. So uh, if you have 10 eBay accounts, they're all going to look the same. So if you just enter something different, like for, you know, on this one, I entered something different to tell me what my store name is. Um, I basically just broke up my, my store name and put it as the first and last name instead of using my actual name, and that just makes it easy here. If you messed up and you used your name, you can just message support right here, and that'll pop up and um, just say, hey, can you change my name to be this because I want it to be easier to switch. Uh, but that's just if you're doing multiple accounts. So we're just working on setting up one. So let's go ahead and click on over to settings, and we'll go to eBay. And so the PayPal fee percentage, that's correct right off. Uh, PayPal transaction fee is correct. Uh, now, this is what you can set. So this is basically, now, some orders, you know, if it's going to be a really expensive order, I want a person to look at it and make sure that the buyer is not trying to scam us on eBay or anything like that. And uh, so uh, that's what these two settings are for. So this is saying, basically, fill orders unless the price of the order is over $500. That's a bit steep for me, so I'm going to set this to like $55. So if it's an order that costs more than $55, I want a person to look at that and make sure we're not getting scammed. For, you know, cheap people don't really scam you for cheap items that are you know, less than that, but if it's 100 bucks, eh, 80 bucks, eh, somewhere in that range, yeah, you're going to want to be checking and making sure the buyers are legit and that they didn't just make a brand new account and they're, you know, trying to run off with uh, the item. So anyway, Max price $55 here. Minimum profit, uh, you could set it to zero, but I'd like you know to make money on my order, so I'm going to set that to a dollar. And um, that just means that if it uh, finds an order and it's not going to be profitable for it to fill, you know, we would be losing money on it. This basically says if we're making less than a dollar, it just won't fill it and it'll let you handle it manually. So, I mean, you know, you could even do 50 cents if you want or something like that. But I just do a dollar because we're trying to make 250 at least on every sale. That's how we configured Yabbly um, in the previous tutorial. So uh, fallback phone number. This is just uh, it will try to use the buyer's phone number from eBay. But if the buyer doesn't have a phone number, then they'll use this one. So I usually just use my phone number. Um, but you can also just use, you know, this. So just fill that in with your phone number. I'm not putting mine in right there because that's just an extra thing for me to blur out in the video. Um, always use fallback phone number false. Then you're going to pick your time zone here. I'll just leave that where it is because I don't know what your time zone is. Um, mark items shipped immediately on eBay. True. So that's, that's good. That makes uh, eBay think that we're shipping stuff out right away. And that's really good. Um, now, auto detect items. Now, do you remember how when we were doing Yabbly... Um, Actually, I'll show you through eBay. It might be easier here. Uh, if I go to our active listings, notice how we have the ASINs. If you're uh, noticing these items are seeming a bit low and not at 1,000, that's because I didn't want to wait for everything to finish posting. It's still posting here. Um, but yeah, so uh, these ASINs, set as the custom label, that is how RBShip knows what item to order. So as long as you have the Amazon ASIN set as your custom label, you can just uh, set auto detect on and it'll be good to go. It'll know exactly what to order. Uh, but if you change these, uh, which is a bad idea, don't do that. Uh, or if you're not using the ASINs in here, then RBShip will not know what to order and you have to add your records manually. So that, I'll show you that later. Um, but, you know, if you're doing it this easy way, then you just leave auto detect on true. You'll be good. Um, tracking upload. And then uh, I'm not going to turn on auto ordering because we're going to do that last. That's the very last step here. Um, but yeah, error notifications on. That's fine. Um, if you have a LLC, and uh, I, you don't need to set up an LLC for dropshipping. Once you're making more than $1,000 a month from it, you're going to want to just because you'll save money on taxes. Um, but if you, if you have an LLC and you get tax exempt, you want to check this because that way it will calculate the lower prices that you're actually paying. Um, but if you're not tax exempt, like most you know, people starting off are not tax exempt and don't have an LLC. Uh, so you're just going to leave that as is. Don't, don't check it or anything. Right? Update. And now we can move on to Amazon settings. So we're going to click on here. 
I'm going to X out of this, but you know it's got some helpful info. This is where you would paste your Amazon email that you want to place the orders with and your Amazon password. Um, and then also, I would recommend taking your phone number off of the Amazon account if you added it because they might try to send you verification codes and then that just gets annoying because it messes up RB Ship and then you got to keep going back and forth. Um, if you do want to do two-factor authentication, you can use, uh, you can use this, but... Um, you know, that's, that's more complicated than this tutorial needs to be. So if you care, you can look on how to set it up, but, uh, you know, email password, and then take your phone number off your Amazon account, uh, if you ever added it and you'll be good. Um, I'm just, you know, coming through here because this is pretty easy, uh, and I don't want to have to do a bunch of copy pasting. So credit card number, um, I haven't messed with gift cards. Uh, you know, there's some sketchy things. People will be like, oh, you want to buy my gift card for at a discount? But, you know, a lot of the times you'll have weird things where like, um, you know, just, I'm just talking about people in drop shipping groups and things like that. They'll try to sell you discounted gift cards, but sometimes they're stolen gift cards. And, you know, if it's a stolen gift card, then you could get in trouble and things and they'll shut stuff down. So just use a credit card. Make it nice and easy. Uh, if you get the Amazon Prime 5% cash back credit card, they'll give you $70 just for signing up. Uh, if, you know, if your credit's good enough to get it, uh, $70 gift card to Amazon just for signing up. Uh, so that's you know, basically straight money in your pocket. And then they'll also give you 5% cash back on everything you buy. So that's that's amazing because you can do 5% cash back on your business's revenue, you know. So it is pretty dang realistic to, you know, you start off a couple of these stores, get making a decent amount of money, get get your card, get it all running through there, and then you're going to be making $700 cash back or something like that, you know, 500 700 whatever, 5% um, of your business's revenue. And obviously with dropshipping, you have really high revenue. Your profit's a lower percentage of that. But uh, the cash back card that gives you 5% is amazing because you're going to get 5% cash back on the revenue, not on your profit. So yeah, credit card, you just uh, select that, put in your credit card number there, and there's more info at the bottom. I'm not sure why they have it separated out like that. But uh, Mark orders a gift, I'd say true, just to try to keep people from getting the invoice, and then just leave the gift message blank. That's fine. Everything comes wrapped in Amazon Prime packaging, but I've, you know, sold thousands and thousands and thousands of items on eBay, and I've not had one complaint about stuff being wrapped uh, in Amazon packaging and stuff. Buyers just don't care. Come down here, uh, allow third-party shipments. I leave this to false, um, but notice there's all these weird extra fields, um, and it shouldn't be showing up if you have it set to false. So sometimes you have to like set it to true, and then set it back to false, and then that gets rid of those extra fields that you don't need. So uh, leave that on false, or you know if you want to mess with it, you can, but I recommend false. Maximum handling days two, Prime shipping true. Um, you, you do make sure in your Amazon account you got to sign up for Prime. You don't have to pay like a bunch of money up front, um, but you can subscribe to the 30 day trial and then set it to bill you at the monthly rate, which is like $12 a month. Uh, you can search that, it's really easy, but you just go Amazon account, settings, Prime, set it to do the 12. So the first month is free uh, with a trial, and then you can do your. Um, the bill me monthly option for $12 a month. So totally worth it. That's what lets us get stuff to the buyers so quickly. So true, enable order bundling. We're going to set that to false. That actually doesn't apply anymore. Uh, that used to be a workaround for add-on items, but it doesn't work anymore. So um, Now auto save tax, true. Why not? Auto percentage, enable address cleaning, true. Uh, if you don't turn this on, it's just going to, every single address of something you order gets added to your uh, address in Amazon, and then you it gets super full really junky. You don't want to do that. So um, we'll leave that on true. Uh, reduce Amazon tracking numbers, AMZL. Why not? I, they're not valid and accepted through eBay. So yes, let's reduce those. Um, so this has to be the billing address on your credit card. Like I said, it's it's up here, but for some reason the rest of it's down here. I'm not sure why. So uh, this should be your billing address, and I'm not going to enter that in because you don't need to know where I live, but um, you're going to enter all this information in for the billing address for your credit card, uh, and then you've got the expiration date and all that good stuff, phone number, everything. And also, in Amazon, you can have a default address. You want to have that match this billing address on your credit card. Um, just uh, that's what RB Ship has said that they, they want you to do, and then, you know, they'll Whenever it goes to place an order, it will make a new address, ship it to that address, and then remove that old address from your, your book. So uh, then once you're done with all that, you can click Update, and that'll be good. You also want to click here to connect it to your Gmail. You can connect it to, to two if you want, but connect to your Gmail, and that's so that it can get the tracking number. So I'll click that real fast. Blur all of this out. And we're just going to hit Allow. Allow. 
And that's just letting RB ship be able to add those tracking numbers and stuff from Amazon. And we can move on. I'm just going to go through these one at a time and just explain stuff, but that was most of the settings. So AliExpress, there's nothing really uh, important there. We're not going to do AliExpress. I would not recommend it. Um, eBay has been cracking down on people who are drop shipping from China and then claiming that they're in the U.S. That's the big problem that they have with people. Um, that's why you have to be a little careful now if you call eBay and you know you say that you're drop shipping. Um, a lot of them think, oh no, you're trying to scam people and tell people it's going to be there in a couple days, but actually it's going to be a month and blah blah blah. So I just would stay away from AliExpress. It was you know I, I got started learning how to do it with AliExpress, but. Um, for now, since you know everything's shipping from China and eBay's not liking that right now, just stay away from AliExpress. Um, cash back, let's go there. Now, cash back is wonderful. It's great. It's uh, a lot of work to do manually, so I don't ever mess with it manually. But with auto ordering, heck yeah, totally do it. All you have to do is you make accounts at these websites, and I will have a link in the description here where you can click to use my affiliate link if you would like. Um, but you just go ahead and you put in your email address, uh, username, email address, whatever here, password, username, email address, password, username, you know, password, uh, and then you just check to enable the ones. Um, in my experience, Be Frugal is the best and gives you the most, then Mr. Rebates, and then Shop at Home, but just do all of them, and then set your flashback frequency to 100%, and hit update. And basically, all that this does is whenever you go to place an order, these will try to get you extra cash back on the sales. And, you know, maybe it's only 19 cents, 50 cents an order, but still that really adds up because you're going to be doing, you know, many, many orders a day, getting a couple cents on all of them. It's usually enough to pay for your um, your auto ordering here because you have to buy credits uh, for auto ordering to work, but it's still way cheaper than doing it yourself or paying someone even to do it for you. So uh, I'm going to save this right now because I'm not going to enter that, but... Uh, Yes, there are three three here. Just make accounts. You can do all of them in less than an hour. Just boop, 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 enable. If you use the same email and password for everything, makes it, uh, or well, for these three guys at least, it makes it easier. And it does take some time to be able to withdraw this money. It takes like a month or two, but still totally worth it. Free money in your pocket, why not? So let's come back down here to general. All right, and now these are just some extra features. None of them really apply for this stuff. Um, so I'm just going to skip that. And now, remember when I talked about the auto detection of items? Uh, this is what you do if uh, if you don't have those. Now we do, so but I'm just going to mention this just for the tutorial. Um, so what you can do is you can add a record, and what you have to do is say, okay, this is the eBay item ID. So I'll just show you with one here. Um, this is the eBay item ID, right at the top there. So you'd copy that, and then paste it here, and then you'd figure out the Amazon ASIN and just paste that here and click add record and then you'll be good and you can just ignore ignore this uh, variation part at the bottom so that basically says when this item id sells order this asin but since we already have the auto detection and everything set up properly through yabbly we don't even have to worry about that rb ship by default when you make an account you get 20 credits here and each credit is uh, basically for one order being filled. So this gives us 20, which means that you know we can get 20 orders and we can have RB Ship fill 20 orders for us for free. And uh, then we have to pay to top up our credit balance. So it is pretty nice because you know you don't have to pay that much. And uh, you know uh, with uh, virtual assistants and stuff filling your orders, um, you know it, uh, my costs for those people were usually about. 60 70 cents something like that for each order that's what i'd pay them in in time you know for them uh to be able to fill an order it usually cost me about 60 70 cents on average uh but here you know rb ship is able to fill these orders for 25 cents an order um or you know if you go with a big pack 18 cents an order um you know you can do whatever you want the the big pack is definitely a better deal uh but if you're tight on money and you're just starting up or something then you can definitely do the uh this pack here but you know this is obviously the best plan if you can swing it right off also, do you remember in Yabbly when we were talking, we were in settings and we were talking about um, add-on item support and everything like that and listing add-on items? This is one other thing that you definitely need to get if you ordered a list of items from drop-source.com. So you're going to want to make sure you've paid for add-on support. So all you have to do is click on this and then you just pay for it. And this is basically their workaround for uh, being able to order add-on items um, which are items from Amazon that are supposed to be just, you throw it in your cart, you know, you've got seven other things you're buying, you throw it in your cart to just 
just get over that threshold where you can get free shipping, but they won't let you order an add-on item by itself. RBShip has a workaround that will let you order just an add-on item by itself, which makes you very competitive uh, and able to, um, you know, a, a bunch of other drop shippers who are doing everything manually aren't able to order add-on items. So this is like a big uh, game changer that you definitely want to pay for. So pay for add-on support, buy your credit packs. Um, and, you know, you can wait till you need it too. You don't have to do it right off. But as soon as this gets to zero or gets close, you're going to want to order this. Um, so then you can just go here, rbship.com slash profit. And every 15 minutes, this just does a scan. It goes to your eBay listings and it looks for uh, new items that have sold. So let's check here. Now I just listed stuff, nothing awaiting shipment yet. Um, so, but what you would do is uh, this would basically say, boop, one's awaiting shipment. And as soon as that happens, within 15 minutes, RB Ship checks, catches that, ooh, something's awaiting shipment. And then it will go to the ASIN, order the item using the credit card that you provided it with and have it shipped to the buyer's address. And then if it was successful, it'll say success. Um, and then once it has been shipped later on in a couple days and it's updated the tracking, it'll it'll say shipped and it'll show you what carrier it was shipped with. So uh, that this RB Ship doesn't handle every single order, but it does you know, at least 75, 80% of the items um, it is able to ship. So RB Ship is great and amazing. Highly recommend. It's going to save you a ton of time. All right, so now that everything is set up and configured properly, we can go back to settings, eBay here, and then we're going to check enable auto ordering. I'm not doing it right now because I haven't added the actual Amazon password and stuff yet, but uh, that will change this and uh, it will not say ordering is disabled. It'll then be enabled. And whenever you get a sale, it'll pop in here and it'll try to order it. Um, usually it's pretty normal for Amazon to freak out and be like, oh no, you know, it didn't, it didn't work, you know, or it, it's, you need verification codes. And as long as you don't have a phone number on your e account, it'll send it to your email. And then RB Ship can g open the email, read the, uh, the code, enter it, and everything will be good. Um, but sometimes it can take a couple tries. And if it says, like, Amazon failed, there was an issue, all you have to do is just come back, settings, uh, eBay, and then you just check enable auto ordering again. And uh, then it will be good and stuff and if you ever want to turn off auto ordering you just uncheck that but very easy uh, if you need help configuring any of that stuff the people right here on support are great and able to help so yeah anyway um that is how you set everything up for auto ordering so now you should have an ebay account with a thousand items listed being tracked and monitored through Yobbly, and then RBShip set up and automatically filling at least 80% of your orders. Anyway guys, that's it for this video. If you're new to drop shipping and you're trying to figure out how to get started, I've got a full free set of training videos down there, link in the description. It goes over everything you need to know about how to get started making money online. And the average person following my method makes around $500 to $800 profit per month after expenses for each thousand item eBay store that they have set up and running. They're really not that hard to get started. If you've got any questions about anything drop shipping related, feel free to hit me up on Facebook. I'll put a link down there as well as a link to a group that I started with hundreds of other drop shippers that you can join. I post new content on this channel every couple days, so go ahead and subscribe and click the notifications. And I'll see you back here with another video in a couple days.